What up my dudes, it's E and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the final season, episode 2. It's finally here, episode 2. It was a short month, I'm pretty sure. And we just gotta get into it, my boy said. Not much more to say, but the first episode was a blast. The ending kind of threw me off, so maybe episode 2 has some more surprises. Let's get right into it. See my AJ boys. and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. It's a huge monk as den, my boys. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. Yeah. I, I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I didn't know we could kill him. If I could, maybe I, I would have. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. I'll kind of force him to I with everyone to against him. Chick, but... The fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then, AJ. Marlin was dead, and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I taught him to never hesitate. What's next now, my boys? Made you some coffee. I'm very checking it coffee. Was in the Holy Seems shit. that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night with Marlin. I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Murderer? Am I a murderer? This decision time? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. She got shot, dude. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You got Marlin to give up. You saw how broken he was. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Yikes, dude. Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. Teach him. Have to. What are we gonna do? I can't support what he did, but I just can't. Shit, 
That's the Arthur meme right there, dude. Back off, all of you. It was under control. I talked Marlin down. Then he murdered my fucking friend. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. To little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. But he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. He didn't have to, it but I have to, I have to help out AJ it, there. Louis, just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? Sure. If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. It's really tough. We'll make it all right with really the tough. others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A sim? Willie? Disarm him, this is a bitch. Screw both of you. I'm not talking him down. This guy literally is being a hole to me right now. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. He was dying. Different. So, that means you murdered him. He's suffering. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. Would have me a monster, turned. yeah. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Bringing back Lee was a uh, tough. Hey. What's up? Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. Mm, no, it was pretty hardcore what he did. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vials started soon. See you out there. Should go. Because if we don't go, it's just going to look more <sighs> bad on our end. Hard. Yeah. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Here we go again, dude. Try 
Drinking more coffee. I'll just drink more coffee. Huge monk ass dude. The dog is there too, dude. Dog feels it too, dude. Oh god. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin. Just leave them alone. Yo, she has my Shit. back 24-7, dude. What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them or they died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Mm. Even gets... monsters. Yeah. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So... I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. He started I can't. Getting, she started liking her Someone again slowly, though. Know? Bitch. Dude, oh my don't. God. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. It's too soon, dude. It's too soon. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Soapy disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. Yeah. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. Who the fuck put you in charge? That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. What? You can't just kick us out. We brought you here. That means we can get rid of you, too. That is fucked up. After all Marlin did... Two wrongs don't make a right. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. You're all fucked when we leave. That's Lewis all I'm needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. No. She, uh... Well, listen. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. You're fucked. If you kick us out, you're fucked. You're gonna have problems coming to the horizon, and you need me to help you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. Tough decisions, my duties. Tough decisions. What's up, Clem? AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. 
Come here. Sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. It's gonna take time, my boy. I know that I was bad, but but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. I understand. I'm angry, too. Shit. This all sucks. Swear. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm gonna be upset, too, because everyone's gonna vote. Think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? Nope. You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It was with time, my it boy. Didn't work. With time. It literally just I'd happened still yesterday. Need to do that if it didn't work. Just don't give up. We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. It literally just happened yesterday. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Right, you're gonna be Don't all dead. Get to vote. I vote that we stay. No, that's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Whatever, Lewis. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What'll help me sleep at night is knowing you two are gone. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. It's even he's feeling bad now. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. Talk to Best him, to leave though. him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? If you're kicking us out, we gotta need it. Hand it over. No. No. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's no, necessary. No, we're keeping the gun. It's yours, AJ. 
You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. And so what? Yeah. For gonna get kicked out? We'll need protection outside. Yeah. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. Then why would you want it? To make sure we die outside? Hell no, bitch. I'm gonna be back with more weapons. We get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. Don't need your damn opinion. I mean, you've done this before. Don't need your damn Probably opinion. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I don't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? If you really feel that way, take us back. Don't let them kick us out. I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. <laughs> if you came back, someone else might get hurt. I, I can't risk it, I'm sorry. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Well, you're all foot. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. <laughs> you haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? Yep. I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah, so do I. Hide! The fuck? What the heck was that? Now come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Let's go. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. That's the man from the train station, yes. The one Brody was scared of. Yeah. Stay here. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Tough little bitch, aren't you? He's gonna grab the gun. Kick it away. Finish him off. Okay, finish him off. Oh shit.
Oh no, AJ. I wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Should I kill the one I had the chance to? Again, Dude. Don't. What the fuck? I've He's... seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <laughs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. <sighs> Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. <sighs> I find that very hard to believe. Well, you just got not a lot down. of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Dude, what the fuck? Let him go, please. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You Dude, ever seen I old killed him. fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine. The fuck? Oh my god. Is that some? Um... Clementine, it's you? It's Lily? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. <gasps> Lily? The fuck? I thought you died. I... came close. The hell? Not now. How the fuck is this? I said not now. Yeah, I'll play along for now. I don't know what Lily's been through. Lee isn't with you. He's dead. So he's dead then. Her voice is so cringy. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. Well, you I had to come. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of them. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one. Oh, that's a tough them. one. Oh no. Run! Oh no, I'm not telling her to shoot. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not telling her to shoot Lily, dude. Holy. Come on. Oh my lanta. Oh, what the fuck? God, he, he didn't get shot. He's moving way too, way too well. This guy's slow as shit.
Oh my lanta, dude. This guy smokes way too much, dude. Run out of breath. Monka-ass, dude. What the fuck? I pressed the thing. He's gonna die. Oh, God damn it. I wanted to die. Monkeys, dude. Clem. Oh, shit, he did get shot. Shit. That kind of lag there a bit. There's more than one I got to stun. Where they at, dude? Can't let him near my boy. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm gonna press the living shit out of this fucking queue. Oh my God. Stop pressing pause, dude. Shit. Oh my God, AJ. Wait, what? Stop. What the? Too loud. Who? The fuck? Mom. Who is you? Okay, there's too many groups being introduced. Get the 
shrapnel out. Who? Me? I'll keep him still. Oh shit. But this wait, is this the same knife I just used to kill walkers, my boy? Did I clean it? No, it did not. stuff my gun we lost it buddy listen violet ran they're safe yeah probably i don't know who to decide here if we meet lily again she's probably gonna say okay fuck it kill kill time Um, build up some strength to be able to carry AJ. He's a big kid. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Called themselves Whisperers. Oh, holy shit. They've learned to live in herds. Among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community, saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. I'll take it. He helped us out. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. Been a while. James. Or Hamas. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? Not much. Still children? It's... I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Him. Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. All right, distract it. Why not? Um, if I'm the walker, I would have been like, "Hey, there's a fire over there. Let me go towards that Thank fire." You. Hamas will remember that. Safe. It 
was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. He looks at them like people. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Mm, Georgia originally. Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. Connects well. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns. More fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back. Or you'll lose him. <sighs> have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. Can't tell them, oh, I and need it for AJ. Them, despite their treatment. And then they'll be like, you don't like AJ. Like, okay, fuck you. I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. I have to trust Thomas. Sleep. I'll keep watch. I'll <sighs> trust Thomas. Okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Putting a whole lot of trust into Thomas right now. Hopefully, this isn't a mistake. Good night. His voice is so soothing, though. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Johannes is really willing to help out. Already here at the school. Uh, hurt. Hang on, we're almost there. Why does he have the mask on? They're gonna look at him and say, "Oh shit, that's a walker." Walker. Violet, Lewis, they came back. I knew that was gonna happen to Hamas. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. <sighs> Not ready. Not the last I've seen of Hamas.
can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. Well, now, well, now he's so willing. Now he's so willing, like, oh, come on in. Better feel bad for what happened okay, buddy. last night. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. I have to we warn got the him. shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. Gotta warn everyone. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, We push. we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. We do big time. Happened out in the woods. I saw they had you pinned, and I. Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Yeah, she's, she's cool with us right now, dude. Lewis and so. I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, Lily and I were friends a long time ago. Friends? Back when the walkers first showed up, we lived in a motor inn. Survived really awful shit. Lily tried to keep us all together. Looks like she's changed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, seems that way. She murdered someone in our group. Gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He Humbus. saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. You don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. 
and then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused, and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. You don't have to. Let me convince them. I'm just James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. She just killed people. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. I still have the map. Plan your defense. Fortify the walls. Fortify the walls. Uh, set traps. Fortify the walls. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Uh, what else? Is there anything else here, really? No, all right. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Examine, all right. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlon wouldn't let us go back. Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? More fight, bitch. Let's go, bitch. But I was like, no Let's way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fight. Just go against what we all decided. Let's fight. Shh. Would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too. This guy. Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! This guy is a bitch. I want to kill him. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. I'm not taking this, you know, bitch. To keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. This guy's gonna try to kill me so hard. I'm gonna kill him harder. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. Now you feel sorry, bro? I. Come on, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry.
guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Yeah, I gotta keep uh, another eye on him. Collectibles can be found. Collectibles. Oh yeah, I didn't get any collectibles from the last game. The chapter 1. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. <laughs> I like it. It'll look good on my wall. For now. <laughs> Monk ass. Uh, I'm not gonna... Eh, let me talk to her. Why not? Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. All right, Mitch. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know. So don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. This guy's gonna be the last one. So not the last one, but the first one gone. I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. The ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vice says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Hmm. There's nothing in here. What what was overran? Well there is some walkers here, but I guess they're still there. I have my knife, hopefully. Clementine! Yep, I'm fan. This dude. This was over. This is considered overrun. Of course, I got him. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Oh look, wild ginger, eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke, false Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Yeah, what's up? You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Pick mushrooms. Some mushrooms are edible. 
Probably not edible. <laughs> yes, dibs. <laughs> this guy. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kind of like to see that. Why is he acting so friendly? A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Yeah, the fly. Holy. God damn it. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. That. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Eat mushroom. <coughs> what? This was for science. Science. <laughs> Got an achievement for that. What is this? If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. There we go. To really push that key. Okay, let's see what's inside. Dude. Oh, you had a scare. That's all. Huge one, guys. Oh, no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. Hmm. She stayed when all the others left. God, she looks. Not Can well. Barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up, stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Fine, I'm done. Plenty of this things, you know. You. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here.
Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Hmm. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Don't act like golf buddies now. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Do again. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. Bury no her. Point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Used to be somebody. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. Damn, this guy's like, he could be a true asshole. I'll put a stone in the graveyard, back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a, a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> she's gonna die. I have that feeling she's just gonna die. Think it'll be enough? <sighs> Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again and bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. Of course. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't well, mean they all like you again. Well, Everyone after else is we kill them, the they're gonna like me. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Got shot, my dude. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep. No, okay. I couldn't answer him. Lewis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I 
I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way, why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. I'm surprised I just lugged that around. Nice. Wonder how long it'll last. Decorating the room, my boys. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Hmm, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Wait, what does it say? Disco hey, Broccoli? Look. It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. <laughs> I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. I'm gonna go with Disco Broccoli. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. I guess there's not much for me to do. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> bang. Why am I so sad now? Still a bit confused. I don't know if I should really be forgiving Lily. I should look at her as a more of an enemy. to be fortified this place or something? Two weeks later. Okay. And still no attack. Probably it. Where are you? Dream? Dream, right? It's gotta be a dream. Is there a baby crying? <laughs> Definitely a dream. Happened, dude. 
Andre. What the heck? She dreaming about the war or something? You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Need like sleep, 18 days. Guy. If I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. Fortify this place, so? right? Ah. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. So I do. You always say, be tough. So I am. You still need sleep. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Try me. Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. That's not creepy. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... it's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. What happened now, Lewis? Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but... 
Now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Maybe that's what they wanted. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Jeb. Pretty clear message. You suck. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. You're right AJ to blame killed us. him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. I won't miss. Alright. Easy work, dude. Easy clap. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. Easy club. Thank you. For all of it. Problem, dude. What else was I supposed to do? I completely forgot. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, <laughs> right. And I guess I had a... Is there collectibles here? Like a fan. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Come here, girl. Good girl. What did Marlin used to do? <laughs> hey, she's out. Hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fuck shit! I'm Keep sure trying. you'll get it. Keep trying. 
It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Just uh, keep alone trying. time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. This guy could be an asshole sometimes. Hmm. Back right, hallway's so. secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't going to stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from what burning down our fucking home. Say. Jesus, Clem, they stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. So help and stop arguing. Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> what the shit? Boy. Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit. Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? <laughs> Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. A game? Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh no. Well, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. Mm, this is bad, someone's gonna I die. Mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we play? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in truth or dare. You do in this version. <laughs> Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask. Lowest card has to answer. There's no one watching, dude. Yeah, that's a huge one, guess. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry. Uh. Oh. James. James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Did you <laughs> say he wore skin, like human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would um flip. Flip, 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 flip. flip. Mm. A sim. Oh wow, that. Wow, now that's awkward. I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> so that means you're killing. This is amazing. Ruby. Wow, poor Ruby. Poor, kind-hearted Ruby. A sim would happily marry you. Damn it, Lewis. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking no about homicidal anything. assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. Hmm. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. Oh, that's uh. 
Hmm. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. No shit. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. Well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Osim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I'm gonna lose. That's how it always goes. Yep, I'm gonna lose. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem, anyone here you like like? Seriously, mm. like like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. I've made a lot of friends here, but I'm not sure I have a crush on anyone. There you go, Lewis. Nothing to tease her about. Oh. There's so plenty to tease her about. The hat, for one. Don't. She gets really mad. A Sam, you've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice age, stone age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? I, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. Well, nothing bad happened. I was expecting someone to be like, hey, we know you're in there. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. No lies. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Yeah, I'm sorry, picking Violet. Sorry, follow Violet. She stuck up for me when I was getting kicked out and shit, so going with her. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. How the hell are we gonna get up there? You ready for a climb? Watch out, dude. It looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. No. No, I'm thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. 
I do. We always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible study, so fast food. Damn, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Barbed wire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Okay. Weird. Ooh, that's a nice moon, dude. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine for AJ, but after that, you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. It's dangerous out there, dude. Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. We've all got our reasons. Safer here. AJ and I are safer here. Lily and Abel proved that. Yeah, that's true. Until they get here, anyway. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them let's make some up come over here you can sit down at that phone with your dad if I remember right everyone's born under a special sign right it determines your personality that's astrology not astronomy whatever let's just make up our own rules signs what it says about you and it's not like anyone remembers the old way okay let's do it there! See? It's a fish. A fish. Oh, shoot. Uh. Oh, come on, mouse sensitivity. Uh. Oh. Come on. Can't just go across, dude. Right. Now it needs a personality. Right. Pretty. Good with other people. Always moving. Tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people. Not so much. Sounds like me. Mm. That sounds just like me. <laughs> Tons of energy? <laughs> really? You always sleep in late. I do not. You did one time. Totally blew off your lookout shift. Hmm. Still, it's me. Fine. Next. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, knife. Right there. Right above your head. Oh and god, I gotta do this, dude. My head. Awesome. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. Yeah, dead. okay, I can't keep on talking about me. Uh, sounds like you. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? Holy no, a crap, bird. I gotta do all this now? Right there. Holy crap, that's just a bird. Like a bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. 
You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. I wish it was me. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's, fine. it's just I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did. And now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um. What? Shit. That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. What the <sighs> fuck? You know what I mean. Okay, I'm curious, dude. I think. I mean, I hope. We're more than friends. And I want. Oh, uh, what face, dude? Oh my god. Curiosity has the best of me here, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean... Holy shit. I guess... She was leaning towards that way, I guess. Moving fast. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. I didn't even like no fire like that though. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Should have killed Able. him. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Should have killed him. <sighs> can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. Okay, but not the F word. Shit is the upper limit. Ah, oh, that guy is a... F a, a shitbird. <laughs> it's not funny, Clem. Come on. I wish I killed him for you, AJ. I'd take a big shit on his head. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three. Four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. Oh. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Hmm. Sure, why not, but... Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go. But if it's possible... You get first shot at him. Wow. What? You thought I'd say no? Yeah. I'm grown up now. No, you aren't. But I'm close. Hmm, <laughs> oh, dude. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Is it, uh, my boy? Wait, what the fuck? Am I supposed to spot something else other than that horse? That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. No shit, it's Come a horse. It's, it's a horse. The horse. That was real, right? They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. 
They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. Mm, look out for each other. No matter what happens, look out for each other. Oh, no, dude. Shit. What the? Shit. Hide now! Wait, what? Omar, I've got him. AJ, hide! How? It's a huge move it has to do. I'll be all right. How the hell did they shoot him? You don't have much time. Go. If I have the chance, dude. It's okay. I can't make gold Trying friends with her now. Make noise. I can't make friends with her now, dude. It's too late for that. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. If I could kill her, I have to kill her. Can't see me. Lily! Move and I'll shoot. You won't get the chance. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours. Search the yard. Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you, and your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me, just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You can't. You've changed. And I you haven't? I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Mm -mm. Oh, fuck's sake, Shit. dude. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you, from their home. Fuck ass, dude. Oh no, 
Captain. Sniper dude. <laughs> oh what? Oh shit dude, hold oh, my monka. God damn it. He did. He did. He did. Mitch died, dude. I'm out of ammunition. I gotta kill this guy. Too bitch. Help me, somebody push the shit. Bucket pointless. I told Lily you wouldn't cooperate. I'm trying to do bad things. <laughs> The rest of them. Oh no. Your friend Lily ain't around this time. So we'll have a nice little chat. You and me. Alone. Fuck do you want, dude? Fucking bitch! <laughs> um, Fucking bitch. I can't. Stay back! Oh, oh. <sighs> oh my god, this dude. Whenever I see someone like you. Weak, small, afraid, and still alive? Well, bet a lot of folks die to get you here. Ah. Do it, dude. Do it, dude. Let's go, dude. Yeah, dude. Dibs. Who in the nuts, dude? Oh no! Where'd he fall? Oh, that's a torn ACL, Achilles, all that bullshit. Oh no. She's not gonna do it. Shit! This should be easy. Can't do it, can you? Then do it already. Shoot me! You're betting I won't. I don't care. Just get it over with. Whoa! Oh my boy! Oh my God, this guy! Just gonna kill this shit out of him, dude. This guy's just getting beat the hell. Yeah, let's go. Oh 
shit. Well, am I gonna have to decide? Chase him down. It's a full of hogs, dude. Can't follow. It's too dangerous out there, dude. But he tried. They took them. Sim and Omar and God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Maybe Hamez knows? Well, we've got someone who does. That idea. <sighs> Torture the fuck out of him. It's good to keep him alive. And it's the end, I'm assuming. What do you mean I can't connect the damn servers, dude? Give me a second. Alright. So now, I'm left with this. Uh, choices, okay. Yeah, dips killable. Yeah, I kinda had a thing with the other chick, so trusted. I don't I don't know the percentages on this. Cause I can't connect to the server. Mitch, uh, yeah, I gotta look at the things later. She was an asshole dude, I can't trust her captured it wouldn't be funny because if he was dead then probably somebody else would have been held up grateful cool turn to the school feelings for her sure why not
Mm-hmm. Kidnapped. He was shot. Rosie. The courtyard. Willie. Kidnapped. Couldn't find one thing. It's fine. Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it for episode 2 of the final season of The Walking Dead. And hopefully you all did enjoy. It's until November, my dudes. till episode 3. This is so good, this story. Feels bad for Tentail that this is their final game. Because uh, they let go of some cult people that work for them and stuff. But, yep, that's it for this episode, my dude. Hopefully you all did enjoy. And I will see you all in the next one. Hmm, bye.